All right, so today on Real Journey, I'm gonna paint some lead weights and I'm gonna show you why this is so beneficial, why it's so easy, and I just think everyone should know how to do it. So lately, since COVID-19, you've been going into the store and the tackle has been cleared out. Usually I'll buy some bullet weights like these. Yes, they're lead weights. Are lead weights superior to tungsten? No, tungsten is superior to lead weights in every single way possible except price. Okay, so a lot of us use lead weights because of the price. And I don't see why this wouldn't work for tungsten weights as well if you wanted to change the color of your tungsten weight. So I really think this tip, this video is gonna be beneficial for everyone. So let's talk about it, all right? So I used to go in the store and buy my weights like this, pre-painted. And you can act, well, I don't know if you can see from there, but these are actually, the paint's already chipping on these in the bag. The paint chips off these super easily. Uh, what we're gonna do is gonna be more durable. It's gonna chip less. If you're fishing around rocks, you know, if you fish the same weight uh, long enough, yes, you'll get some chips, but a lot less than you will with the pre-painted ones. So what we're gonna do is actually better than when it comes out of the package. It's gonna be cheaper, it's gonna save you money, and it's super easy. I mean, super easy. Anyone can do it. That's how easy it is. Okay, so, so here I have a bag of four three-eighths ounce bullet weights. Okay, these are lead bullet weights. You know, you get them at uh, Walmart, Dick Sporting Goods, Bass Pro, that sort of thing. But lately, the stores have been cleaned out, you know, the bait section, the tackle section, everything's cleaned out. Everyone's fishing and that's a good thing. But, you know, when you need to get some weights, they're not there. Now, why not just grab the silver ones and just fish with the old silver ones? Well, here's the thing. And maybe some of you guys don't know this, but this right here, see, I'm fishing with a black and blue bait. And if I have a silver weight on the top, guess what? It's not gonna be as effective as fishing this same bait with a black bullet weight on top because it looks like it's just part of the bait. Whenever you have something that stands out, it makes a difference, okay? It, it really does. Now, the darker the water, the less difference it makes. I fish dark water and I still think it makes a difference. I'm down here in Florida, the water is dark. Down here, we can get away with heavier line. We, we can get away with, you know, lead weights and stuff like that. You know, I've talked to some Floridians and they think that it doesn't matter what line size you have, the fish bite all the same. And, and, and that's not true. And people that are up north that fish cleaner, clearer water know that in certain places like Thousand Islands, New York, you know, you're not going to fish 15 pound line, you know, just barely moving a worm on the bottom and get too many bites. But if you downsize to six pound lines and you're, you know, you're drop shot and you're just barely moving that worm, you're gonna get a bunch of bites. You know, things matter, okay? Size of line matters and the color of your weights do matter. They will change how many bites you get. So I tend to fish black baits with blue flake. So I tend to like to use black bullet weights. Now, if you use green pumpkin where you fish, you know, maybe you want to paint yours green, your bullet weights green. You know, that's up to you. But I already have black nail polish and that's what I tend to use. So I'm going to just show you that. And uh, so why, so why would you do it? Obviously it catches you more fish. If you paint this black, it's going to catch you more fish. It's also more durable. You know, this chips so easily, chips so easily. And and once you paint this, like three coats like I do, it becomes more durable than this, okay? And you know, these nail polishes, they're cheap. This is like a dollar nail polish. You know, you can get this from the dollar store or Walmart or wherever. You know, it's just a quick 60 seconds dry nail polish and it does the trick. It doesn't cost much. Uh, this actually, my wife already had it, so I'm just using hers. She said, go for it. I don't use that cheap stuff. <laughs> so, boom, I've been using it. And it will paint quite a few bullet weights, too. So I've painted a number of them with that. It's pretty much empty now, but I've, I've used it to paint a lot of bullet weights. So 
money wise, you're going to save money. And when you've been going to the tackle stores lately, they've been cleaned out. People are buying everything. So the ones that are pre-painted, I haven't seen pre-painted weights in months. That's why I've been doing this for months. I've been painting my weights for months and it's been working. It's been working well. I've been catching a lot of fish and it just works. So you go to the store and they're, they're this color, but you want them to be black because you want to catch more fish. So what do you do? You paint them. And I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. It's super easy. So you take a little piece of foam board or something that you can stick little toothpicks in. So I broke these toothpicks in half and then I just stuck them in the board. Okay. And then you just take a bullet weight and you stick it in there. Right. And there you have it. See that bullet weight stick in there. All right. Well, then you take this, it's 60 seconds drying uh, nail polish. So I put all my bullet weights on all of them, right? And then I just start painting it. Okay, just paint it across there. You can be pretty thick with it. And then you go to the next one. By the time you finish painting all your weights, it's going to be 60 seconds. You know, if, if you're only painting four or five, then sure, you know, give it 20 seconds after you're done painting if you did it really quickly. But it's probably going to take you 60 seconds by the time you finish your weights. And then you go over it a second time. I've been doing two to three coats. I only do two coats when I was pretty thick with it uh, both times. And I'm like, it doesn't need to be thicker than that. But the rest of the time, I'm doing three coats if I'm doing it thin. So two to three coats on there. So I hope this was helpful. We do a lot of fishing videos on this channel. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And that's going to be it for today on Real Journey. Deuces.